Definitely. And obviously, uh, we have Zomb as our one seed at this event. So, yeah, our the number one highest ranked player here is Rob. So We're going to see a ton more of that character over the course of this entire weekend. But we're going to open. This is the first set we've gotten to come take with Rob. And Rob Ike is going to be... I, I feel like it's tricky for Ike. Battle of the Nairs, for sure. Yeah, battle. It, it's definitely the Nair Wars. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Nair Wars. And it's going to be a matter, like matter of who carries the Nairs better. That's going to be a big deal in the neutral game. But just the way that Rob is so oppressive on linear recoveries, and Ike's recovery is one of the most linear. Quick draw is literally horizontal. Yeah. Aether is literally vertical. You have all the time in the world to set up an edge guard on either of them if you know what to expect. Uh, it's tricky for Ike to get back to the stage really in any con uh, context of this matter. Yeah, and there's like a little bit of uh, stuff to learn when it comes to edge guarding that side beat just because you don't know what will and won't flank with it. But what's going to beat it out every time is going to be that Rob laser. We can see it happen with Gyro. So Luce is going to have to be really careful about how he plays disadvantage. Pokemon Stadium for game number one here. Uh, just looks like they're just playing it slow. No, no real big openings either way. Wow, right now he's getting gyro up. Uh, <laughs> Infinite <laughs> showing us a really good example of uh, how powerful gyro is as a tool, which we already knew, but you know, definitely a good reminder. And also, speaking of reminders, that up smash out of shield has such a generous scooping hitbox on both sides of it. Unfortunately, Lucy was not that safe on that neutral air, and it got punished very hard. Yeah, that's the thing. Is, is Rob's out of shield punish game is so good. And really, like, the only super safe Ooh. aerial that Ike has is the neutral air, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that back air, you can space it perfectly, and then you'll be fine. But you're off by an inch, and while well, Rob can punish you a myriad of ways, up smash being the one that KO's. It's one of those things this character, like, he lives and dies by, like, one very strong tool. But if you're fine with that tool, the character feels so much weaker. But un unlike what I was just saying, I forgot how strong that up B actually is. <laughs> uh, got buffed a couple patches ago, and it always catches me off guard until I see the pure knockback on that move. Yeah. There it is, up air. Oh. Yep, that's going to do it. Even with proper DI, all that rage on Rob is not going to help. It looks like Infinite's off to a pretty considerable lead right now. Yeah, and it's going to be up to Ike to claw his way back in. And you, you're kind of forcing the issue with that Aether there a little bit, I think. And that's going to open up a big kind of double Ooh. up air, 0 to 40 in the blink of an eye for Infinite. Yeah, Lucy's got to be careful. We could be looking down the barrel of a three stop. But as soon as I say that, the commentator's curse or blessing, depending on your perspective, mm. is going to give Lucy that stop to that up air. Very good cleanup. And OK, Infinite's plan, I think, for this Ike Nair is kind of not to interact with it. Like, put the top in that position where it'll it'll go right under the Nair mm -hmm. and, and when you have that full stage control, and then just try to set up some kind of ledge trap or a, potentially an edge guard punish if you can get there in time. Oh, wow. We oh. were not. You were not kidding about who was going to be better responding to Nair because we've seen him respond with a down tilt out of shield. We've seen him respond to up smash at one point. But at that point, just up tilt into the full hop up air, ended up deciding it. I don't think Lucy's DI was, like, perfect on that, which is – it's the dumbest move in the game to DI. <laughs> you literally – I think Emma – uh, my good friend Isn't, Emma. isn't it the way Rob leans? I like, don't know, of, man. Yeah, yeah, it, like, it depends on his astrological sign, <laughs> you know, how, how much sage you burn that day. I don't know. You, like, fl you flip a coin, and that's the way you do it. Like, Emma, a.k.a. Real Life Samus, she earnestly tweeted, how do I DI Rob up there? And it went viral because all the top players was like, girl, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Um, it's a mystery to me. Mm -hmm. But all that aside, great stuff to Infinite. Taking the first game pretty confidently and starting off with uh, no much, no lost momentum here, uh, forcing Lucy off stage, really giving his recovery. And mm. unfortunately, you see the SD. And um, Infinite just, wait, do I have the characters backwards? Is Lucy the Rob? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure Infinite's the Rob. Pretty sure. OK, well, either way. Um, Either way, all that aside, <laughs> um, definitely looks like this is going uh, way better in Rob's favor so far. But a really good string here for Ike, knocking this Rob all the way away, but then going for that high recovery, and you thought you could maybe sneak to the stage, but the up air comes flying in. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good call out. I mean, obviously, Rob is a character that can stall you out for a really long time using all that gas. How dare you with these prices? Uh, <laughs> using all that gas to uh, try to mix up the way he lands. But that up air is very disjointed. And now we have two different SDs from Ike this game, unfortunately. It's like things were already rough, but that is certainly not helping. OK, but that, that was a nice little combo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you, lo you love to see the counter item play in, in really any matchup. 
All right, we're starting to see those nares finally connect. That's Hello. what we need, and a beautiful F smash call out. Reading the air dodge, extremely smart play. Kept punishing another air dodge with a forward tilt. Really, really good stuff. We need this momentum to get back in here. Now he's only at 3%, it's not too bad. Oh, but if he gets hit again, those combos will start again. Yeah, just and it wait, can really wait out that back air on the platform. That's a, a really scary starter for uh, really any time. Because we've seen how tricky it is for Ike to recover if you get off the stage at any one point. But okay, there you go, get that combo going. Get that up air, even game. I would actually say it is alarming that after two different Ike SDs, this is totally even. His advantage state looks much stronger here. And I think he's spacing that Nair a little bit better. You see him kind of like uh, doing the fast fall, like reverse hit in Nair. That's what he's spacing with, and it looks mm. a lot harder to punish. And, it, see, it looks a lot harder to punish. But the shield is a little bit low. We can be in a shield break territory soon, but oh. we're getting the side B. That is not going to do it just yet, but Ike what a good is definitely on notice. Way. That, and that back air was almost a good catch on the quick draw. Is this close? Yeah, yeah. That was really, really close. I like that. Waiting, trying to force him to roll in. Not going to find the punish he needs just yet. But Rob, that's the big boy, and these combos don't miss, especially with the platform extension you see from PS2. But firing back with that back air, no pun intended. I'm better than that. Uh, is going to force him off stage. <laughs> and now we have down throw into the up air. Not going to find it just yet. What is the punish going to be? Tries Ooh. to get the up smash. Doesn't get it. Good lord. This is a nail biter. There were so many close calls in that interaction there. Okay, but double jump safe the entire way, allowing Ike to sneak away. And remember, there's really no landing like at all. But are you going on the platform? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even need it. Doesn't even need it. That's going to do it. Woo! That was quite the game. That game, <laughs> too, was crazy. Like, I, I love I love the turnaround that you saw right there mm -hmm. because, like, he has two SDs. One of them, he, like, dramatically shakes his head in the camera. He's like, ugh, I hate that this happened. This stinks. What am I going to do about it? Mm -hmm. But he really dug deep and pulled that fire out of his soul to make that so very close, so competitive. But at the end of the day, wasn't able to clutch it. We see a 2-0. And uh, that's how that shakes out. And we've said it a thousand times, but 2-0, but it was really <laughs> close, though. That, the way that game one was going, it looked like we might have had our one and only stinker of the block. <laughs> we were this close. But actually, no. ev every single match in this block was, was down to the wire. And yeah, the 2-0 asterisk, it was close. Uh, GG's to everyone all around. But guys, I believe that is going to do it for us here in this, uh, this early wave of pools. Plenty of pools left, guys, so keep this stream locked and loaded on your browsers. Uh, and plenty of great commentators are going to be joining you for the rest of the way. But for now, I've been Lord Sturm. I've been Cy PBOK. Obviously, if you have any opinions whatsoever, or if you're just bored, feel free to follow my Twitter <laughs> at Cy PBOK. Uh, I post there frequently, and I also have an anime podcast called Shonen Chumps. It's a really fun, like, inclusive uh anime podcast we're looking at a lot of popular shows from a lot of different perspectives it's really unique it's available on all streaming platforms so feel free to check that out but guys that's going to do it for me today any final words today or for the moment sir nope i'm just excited to watch more matches guys don't me go too. anywhere riptide we'll be right back